So this is going to be one of those videos that I don't edit. If you're new around the channel, thank you for joining. I go by Zany Online. My name's Tyler. I hope that, that clears it up and you're now part of the group. So I've been having some issues here on Gentoo and I, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Most likely this is going to be where the desktop computer here that I use for like my production computer for video editing, doing all that type of stuff. It's going to have to go back to Arch. So I'll throw up a card of, you know, the Gen 2 live streams that I've done, or at least one of them, maybe even both of them, who knows, but I've had a blast installing Gen 2. I love I really do love the kind of granular control Gentoo gives you, but we're going to go ahead and talk about why it's not going to be on my production machine anymore and a very real conversation about Gentoo and trying to use it on a daily basis. So right now, I know my webcam is covering up some stuff, but that's fine. So you can see in the browser here, I've been searching for video editors and you might be like, well... Why are you doing that? You use either Caden Live or DaVinci Resolve, right? Yes, but Caden Live's quick and easy and it works just fine. I, I like Caden Live. It's fine. Um, it's glitchy, but so is every video editor. So I'm looking for freaking video editors because I can't get any video editor to install. And it's mainly because of dependency conflicts from, uh, let's see, what is it? QT core is causing conflicts with a lot of stuff or I, I don't know. I'm going to assume it's QT core. It's something to do with QT, get a whole bunch of QT programs here that have problems. And it's probably just because something hasn't been up to, I don't give a shit what the excuse is or whatever, but this kind of, this type of stuff happens on Gentoo all the time where you can't update or install a package because of problems, because of conflicts. And look, I get it. Gentoo gives you complete control over your packages and stuff. And I know some things can cause conflicts with other things, but this is ridiculous, man. Like I can't get a freaking, a none. OpenShot won't install because QT, apparently it needs something. Uh, Kate Live won't install because, you know, QT. Olive won't install because it's essentially a fork of Kate Live, so it won't install either. Um, I could go and try Shotcut or Lightworks or it was some of these other ones, but I don't know how in the world to freaking use these. So I'd, I'd also have to learn how to use them. Also, I can get a video edited. Uh, it, it, it's just a nightmare. So uh, I recorded an episode of the Unix crew that's going to go up on the channel, but that's going to be probably after this video because it makes more sense. And also I've got to transfer that over to my laptop and edit it there. And it's these kind of issues with Gentoo where like you just need to get something done and you find out that it's gonna take three times the amount of time that it would have taken you to just do the task to fix whatever's causing the issue so that you can then do the task. And this is one of those things that everyone harps on on Gentoo. It takes a lot of time to install. It's a bitch to manage. Yes, all that is true. Yeah, there's no debating it. The, all, all of that is true. And if you're up for it and that's the kind of system maintenance you want to do, sure. But I got to be honest, I've used, I've used a lot of different distros in the past and this kind of stuff only happens consistently on Gen 2. Gentoo is the one distro where I've had constant issues with updates and just packages not wanting to install or just, just in general problems that I have to fix all the time. And sure, if, if I really, really wanted to have just granular control over my system, make sure everything was done exactly the way I want it. I mean, I might be able to Put up with it but like i i need to get stuff done like i need to do stuff I and mean, gentoo you ain't you ain't helping me out here brother yeah i just wanted to talk about how annoying gentoo can be to use at sometimes 
and this is just kind of me venting, you know, about having to put up with this. But I mean, I still don't hate Gen 2. I still think Gen 2 is a good distro. It's just, it really can be a pain in the ass to deal with sometimes. It, it, it just can. It, it really can. So thank you for listening to me ramble. Hopefully this, you found this interesting or you got something to say, you know, leave that down in the comments below the episode of the Unix crew that I live streamed and is now only available for patrons. Cause that's what I'm going to start doing with my live streams. That is up. If you want to go check it out, you can find it in the description of this video. And that's also where you'll find any of my other links. You can like on your way down there and I, hopefully you like this video and Hopefully you're kind of excited to see the Unix crew episode that I did with Alex and Jesse from the Linux tube. Uh, great dudes, great conversation. I have a feeling you'll really like the live, uh, the podcast. And if you're interested, the live stream, we talked about a lot more than we did in the podcast, the, the live stream aspect, we go into some pretty exciting stuff that we have where I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we, I'm helping on some stuff, but they plan some really cool stuff. And anyway, as a group, we're doing some really cool stuff. So if you want to find out about that, you're interested, go over there and check it out. Thank you boys for supporting the channel, especially all of you over on Patreon. I actually, my video editor, Nate, has now joined me over on Patreon or supporting me over on Patreon, which is awesome. Thank you, Nate. TGB, Zach, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast thank all of you guys. If I miss someone in there, I don't think I did, but if I did, I'm so sorry. And, uh, you can flog me for it down in the comments. Thank you boys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey.